Hey yo everybody, this is Siwa Platinum and welcome to part 35 of Pokemon Platinum. Okay, so last time we did a lot of things. <laughs> we did a lot of things. We defeated Team Galactic boss Cyrus at the Celestic Ruins. We got HMO3 Surf and we started going around the Sinnoh region, seeing what we can do now that we have our brand new Surf HM. So today we're going to continue doing that. Yes, indeed. We got a little bit of plot, and then we got a whole bunch of surfing. So, let's do this. We get an HP up right over here. I should really put on a repel. I should. Or rather, just a super repel. One of those things. It's fine. It's fine. And I actually wanted to bring up something a little bit here, because, well... I actually decided, like, well, on a random whim... Like, seriously, on a random whim, that I would just catch Pokemon in different Pokeballs, honestly. Like, seriously, I would... Like, the Pokeballs in this game are... The Poke the different types of Pokeballs are just so cool. They really are. And I just wanted to show off what it was like to catch them in different Pokeballs. I knew that part of my team would just have two Safari Balls on them because I caught them in the, in the, uh, great, in the great March and everything. But as for, like, uh, everybody else, I just decided to go with just random Pokeballs rather than, rather than Great, Ultra, or just regular Pokeballs. I want to be different, okay? It, it's fine. Being different is all fine and good and awesome. Anyway, now we are in Floroma Town here because if you surf over to the Valley Windworks... You can go and get yourself an Electrizer. So, we actually don't have the ability to get uh, Elekid or its Evolved Form Electabuzz yet. But whenever we do... Uh, by the way, TM24 Thunderbolt over here. Uh, but whenever we do... Uh, well, if you're playing this on a regular DS... You can actually uh, trade Electabuzz while holding the Electrizer for Electivire. Which is basically a physical electric type that is basically immune to uh, electric type moves thanks to uh, either its abilities. Either of its abilities. I'm probably sure that Electivire only has motor drive though. So, it's cool. Anyway, you can surf along this path over here onto the Fuego Ironworks. This is, this is a place that's entirely optional, and you don't really have anything to do there. But it's just nice. It's just really nice, because you get to find more Pokemon here. Kelpsy Berry. Alright. I feel bad that Spaghetti's not going to be able to do anything this entire arc, but... Uh, you know... And <laughs> you got to be left out of the party sometime or something or another. So, it's all well and good. Anyway, at Fuego Ironworks, you can find Magnemite here. And Magnemite is available to evolve immediately all the way over to Magnazone. Yeah, seriously. You can evolve it straight away by leveling, up, leveling it up once to Magneton. And then... You can go right ahead and go to Mount Coronet, level it up again to Magnazone. So, I'm not sure if I have the picture. I'll flash it up in about a second after we get through the Pokedex entry. The Magnet Pokemon, Electric Steel type. The faster the units at its sides rotate, the greater the magnetic force they generate. So, Magnazone was going to be a team player, but... Uh, then, then I got to the point where I'm like, oh, wait, Magnezone is technically a duplicate because, well, I already used a Magneton before in, uh, another Pokemon Let's Play, and I figured that would just be a little bit too redundant. I would have named the Magnemite Ozone, by the way. I would have probably named it after, like, Windows Operating System code names, because I think that's just cool. And Ozone would have probably been, like, really cool to name it. Anyway, at the Fuego Ironworks, you can 
you can find yourself some slide puzzles. Because those are always, always fun. And in here, there are trainers to fight. Worker Dylan. Okay. And it's not that bad at all. You can get some extra. It's just all for the extra experience anyway. Again, this place isn't really required for anything, but you can find some pretty cool items, and also you can fight some trainers for the experience as well. Ugh, that submission really hurt! <laughs> but at least I got an amulet coin uh, boosted battle out of it, so that's good. <laughs> I think you can also find some Pokemon inside the Ironworks. I think it might just be outside of it. But anyway, we're going to go all around the place to uh, see what items we can get and what you can do. Speaking of which, the daycare trick actually applies here. So if you happen to hold down the uh, button in the direction of a sliding panel that takes you in the opposite direction, you can get yourself some nice, good old-fashioned unlimited steps. That way your Pokemon can get really powerful in like... A few hours. Like, a good night's sleep will definitely do you some good. If you're daycaring Pokemon like I am. Seriously, though, I miss the daycare. And I'm probably... This is probably the last game that I'm ever going to Let's Play that has, like, any daycare functionality to it. Because the other games, while they do have daycare, they also have, like, the experience share and everything. So grinding is just kind of, like, you know, not really needed anymore. So it's... Yeah... I'm, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss this. Okay, good. I'm going to fight you anyway because, well, <laughs> because talking to you is a lot faster than the trainer spotting you. It truly is. Doofer to level 41. SMH just three. Uh, <laughs> fire! Just three Magnemites. Uh, for real. Why? You can find a red shard here. And I want to, yeah, I want to go down to that man over there. Okay, so you go this way. Across these spin, 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 spins. Here you can find yourself a blue shard. I believe you can find all the shards here. If you don't already have them via underground. I haven't gone to the underground since our initial visit, visit, and I think I might as well just do more, like, off-screen whenever I can. You know, if I have the time. So, that's basically my plan. But now I have to plan for this. Uh, hmm. Do I take... Uh, no, that'll just lead me all the way back up there by going to the bottom. I think I want to go from the top. Yes, go from the top. Go up once. Just remember to walk whenever you're in tight spaces like this. And here you can find a rock incense. Rock incenses. They boost the power of rock type moves. Okay. Yeah, it's a hold item. And I'm going to take care of you. Yes, I am going to take care of you. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. Maybe, are you getting maybe annoyed by the floor panels that t take you or something like that? I don't know. Oh, you got a Magmar. Oh, you have a Magmar. Yes, indeed. But very thankfully, I have a Palanquin, so that will take care of you. Conrad, I'm going down in flames. Indeed you are, sir. Uh, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if this is. Oh, yeah, it is. Hello, well, hello. It's not often I get to visit her here. I've tried to make the ironworks run better with the fl moving floor tiles. But no one is happy about it. They said the moving floor made them dizzy. But you don't want to listen to me, wine. Here's a souvenir. You can get a star piece, which you can sell for a lot of money. My ironworks makes iron by removing impurities from iron ore. In the process, we can find a variety of colored shards. If you like, we can trade. Can we trade star pieces for shards? 
So this is why you wanted to do that. Yeah, it's cool. So for every star piece that you trade, you can get one blue, yellow, green, and red shard. This is going to be useful for the uh, move tutors that you can uh, use for your Pokemon. And right here, you can get TM35, which is Flamethrower. Just remember, just like with uh, most uh, modern Pokemon games, minus, well, Scarlet and Violet for some reason, uh, these TMs are single use, so just be careful who you teach it, teach the moves to. I think we got everything in the ironworks, I think, so... Yeah, I think we did. So really all that's left is just to, well, get out of here wherever we can. <laughs> and I think that should be easy enough. All you really have to do is just to go over here and then go down this way. Easy. So yeah, there were there was there was stuff here to note. So success. How did I find a Chansey on the next route where I was at, dude? Come on. These things are, like, popping up everywhere left and right. I'm going to catch one just to see if I can find a lucky egg. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's to be expected. Like, 50% of the time, you'll be able to find uh, oval stones on Chansey anyway, which are necessary for Happini to evolve. But again, 5% of the time it will be a lucky egg. So that would have been that would have been really funny. If I just got a second lucky egg on my uh, other on my other thing, that would have been like hilarious. <laughs> okay, so I believe now we've gotten to a point where uh some trainers might be leveled up from what they once were when we fought them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the Versus Seeker. Yeah, I'm going to use the combination Versus Seeker and whatever else while the boys just continue to bark. And you might hear them more clear because I'm in a different room now. So, I'm going to VS Seeker. And it doesn't even work. Okay, there we go. It worked that time. Okay, so this might actually be the point where they get leveled up, I think. Nope, they're still level 23. That Happini is still a good source for, um, you know, experience anyway, so it's fine. But anyway, that's uh, that's basically the Versus Seeker at work right there, even more than usual. I know for a fact that certain Pokemon uh, get certain Pokemon get stronger uh, as you progress through the journey, but I guess that just doesn't happen yet. Yeah, that didn't really happen. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the next place where we're going to use Surf, which is near Pastoria City. Next up, you can use Surf over here. I still haven't fought these uh, fishermen yet. Um, I'm pretty sure they won't have Pokemon. I'll probably just fight them anyway once we're done surfing over here. And I get the feeling that there's a hidden item over here. This is really just filled with nothing. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight these fishermen, like out of frustration. Doofer is now level forty-two. Ha ha! I get. I got your uh thingy and other things. <laughs> yeah, two memorades and a Gyarados, by the way. Uh, okay. Let's uh you surf again. See what's up. We're almost out of places to surf, by the way. Like, it's not that. Oh. There is some places. Okay. I just had to look a little bit farther than usual. Okay, so I think you have to go over this way. There's a trainer spinning. Yeah, there's a trainer spinning and swimming at the same time. Which is weird. Where do you go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a place to use another HM that we don't have access to yet. Jeez, like, where? Where? Oh, wait, is it over? 
Oh wait, it, it is over here. Okay, okay. All right. So I'm I'm gonna switch up the uh, party a little bit here. I'm gonna take the amulet coin off of you, Doofer, and then I'm gonna put it onto uh, the Don because the Don deserves a deserves a chance at battling in a video rather than just be barrel. Sailor, that's not required. But you know what? Uh, nah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, you know what? Nah. You are not... None of these guys are required in the slightest, but I think I might have to fight you anyway. You have the same name as the goaded rival. <laughs> sailor Paul. Yeah, Paul grew up to be a sailor one day. Not a gym leader. A sailor. That was almost a level up for uh, Don Terra, but, you know, that just didn't happen, didn't it? <laughs> no, it did not. But I do want to have you two as a double battle, though. Brr, I'm starting to get chilly. I could use a wind to get warmed up. Hello there, are you going to swim? No! You should know the main character does not swim at all. They only ride on wild Pokemon. Thank you very much. Dontera gets that level up. And also, Sarah... Oh! Want to learn agility. That increases your speed by two stages. I'm good. The chill of the sea and the coldness of defeat. It's a double whammy. What's saltier? My tears or the sea? <laughs> wow. What about your salt that you lost? <laughs> okay, that's kind of... That's actually funny. Like, that's actually funny. What's saltier? My tears or the sea? <laughs> I never really thought that it could be explained by that, but... There you are. I guess Pokemon really just does have the most, uh, you know, meme-worthy stuff, doesn't it? I was about to think that this was a dead end, but it wasn't. Well, it kind of is now a dead end, but you can find a big pearl over here, which, again, you can sell for a lot of money. And I think that might be it, actually. Actually, no, because I know there's another item there somewhere. Okay, so I think it might be... Oh, 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 not to you. Not to you, sir. It's right here. Max Revive. That will fully revive a fainted Pokemon. So, all these items are going to be very helpful. Very helpful indeed. Now, I th think, but I don't know, but I think there might be another place to surf, but my guess is that it's that's a big fat no-no. So, I guess that really is it. Then again, did I ever... Oh, wait, I did. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay. Okay, so I suppose that would be all the places to surf for right now. Except for one place. And that place is technically a required thing. So, let's heal. And bring out spaghetti in the process. Alright, so going from the Pokemon Center, you want to go up to the Jubilife TV building. And then head over to the right. Or to the left, rather. Once you do that, you'll wind up on 218, where you could have technically fished if you had the old rod. But now that we have surf, we can easily go across this water. And find a tentacruel. Ooh. <laughs> That's level 35 is actually pretty good for this point in the game. Because you just remember, uh, the last gym leader's ace was level 37. So, to be able to actually go up to level 35 here is kind of cool. Ah, uh, I wanted to catch it too, but that tentacle fainted spaghetti and made 
him use the citrus berries, so... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna revive. It's... That, that was just a bad luck. That was just really bad luck that I had. Yeah, that netball didn't even do anything. Like, th that netball barely did anything for... Anything. I really should have just put up a uh, put up a repel. We're used to the new games where you can just use repels over and over and over again, but you know apparently not in this case. Why didn't you notice me for like two seconds? A man of the sea is also a man of Pokemon. Aha! Sailor Skylar will have Mantike, which is the pre-evolved form of uh, Man uh, Tine for your Pokedex. Spaghetti gets to level 41. Mantike and a Machoke. Anchors away! Anchors away! And that's away with an A-Y. Let it rock! It's the rhythm of battle! Cricketune and a Magnemite. Can you hear it? That's my guitar weeping, dude. It's my guitar weeping, man. I try to make him sound like Otto from The Simpsons. You know, I've been watching, I've been watching like classic, classic Simpsons this year, and yeah, it's it's really good. I'm up to season thirteen, and like, uh, I feel like now that I've actually learned the characters or whatever of everything, I could do. I feel like I could do like pretty good impressions of some of the Simpsons characters. Like, uh, you know, I feel like I could do like, uh, well, obviously, you know, I can do Smithers. <laughs> it's like. Mr. Burns. <laughs> He's like, Mr. Burns, I'm gay. And that's the joke. <laughs> oh, God. Five Pokemon. Okay, I'm definitely skipping you. Smithers! Uh, spaghetti got to level 41, 42, and, and in breakfast. <laughs> I can do that, uh, can't catch fish, can't catch break. I can do that one uh, old man character who's all like, Whoa, I'm in the future. Moon pie. What a time we live in. <laughs> I feel like I can do those, like, gravelly voices. Oh, God. Gyarados level 33. That's a... Again, that's a competent level. The AI had to be dumb, and I had to use a... Uh, I had to use a Hyper Potion to fully heal, heal the Dawn. So, yeah. <laughs> that Ice Fang really hurts. And we got back the Hyper Potion that I used. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, so if we go back here, we'll circle back to where we started. So why don't we just head back over to where we once were. And wouldn't you know it, bada bing, bam, boom. We find the gate. Oh, Hikari, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rose's assistant and Toast's father. The professor asks that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see. I've chosen to spot on a hunch that you passed through. Hikari, may I see your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see. What was I supposed I was supposed to put in the software here? Kachunk, kachunk. All done, I've upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain how it's upgraded. Now it can display images of male and female Pokemon. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on your project for the professor. May I also keep an, ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic? The professor is concerned what happened to Jub Life City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Okay, so with that, actually, uh, that's not the Pokedex. This is the Pokedex. Okay. So to bring up a prime example of a Pokemon that has uh, gender differences, if I can look for Pikachu... That here we go. So for Pikachu, once again, you can see the differences. Pikachu have the usual tails, while females have the heart shaped tails. So this is just an example of, you know, a Pokemon that has major form differences. So, you know, my arms may look different from your arms. And whatever else. And also, Hippaldon definitely is not colored brown like he is in uh, the male, like he is in the male form. Female have entirely darker colors. 
in terms of Hepaldon, actually. And with that, we conclude our surfing ventures, and we've made it to Canalave City. Next time on Pokemon Platinum, we explore around Canalave City to see what it has to offer. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.